MindNet is a large semantic network created by parsing the text of online dictionaries. Each entry results in a definition graph, as shown here. MindNet can construct a list of the best several paths between two words, ordered by computed plausibility. Here we see ten paths. The colored words are on the path itself, and the definition graphs of the black words were used in the computation. Many of these words are shared between multiple paths and definitions, but sorting this out requires a lot of reading, window flipping, and remembering the contents of previous screens. Our new Constellation Visualization System integrates all the path and definition graph information in a single interactive window. Our special purpose spatial layout uses MindNet's ordering to create a plausibility gradient, with the most important paths and words on the left and the least plausible on the right. Here we see the first ten paths between bird and feather. Each tan box encloses a path node with a word that's on a path drawn large on the top. Some path nodes contain only a single ladder-like definition graph, where each defining word is drawn inside a blue label box. Other path nodes have several associated green boxes, each enclosing a definition graph used in that path's computation. Shared words that appear in multiple definition graphs are visually connected by long slanted links. The most plausible ten paths between kangaroo and tail show some complex interrelationships. The connection between Animal 109 and Tail 101 exists because of the pooled influence of many definitions which share those two words. The situation is even more extreme in the seventh path, where kangaroos with short forelimbs are associated with many animals that have short tails. All of these definitions contributed to this path's plausibility ranking. Constellation is optimized for three viewing levels, a global view for interpath relationships, an intermediate view for path node associations, and a local view for reading individual definition graphs. In the global view, the size of a word is related to its importance in the path computation. The spatial layout algorithm uses a backbone of path node bands that are wide on the plausible left side and narrow on the implausible right. Many paths include elements from other bands since shared words are not repeated. In the global view, the path-level words are emphasized by devoting a large part of the box space to the top word. Leaf words are smaller than the head words and may be drawn as a line or omitted completely if there's no room. All the leaf words in a path node are drawn the same size to present equal visual salience, so some of the longer words are alighted. The word drawing strategy changes at higher zoom levels, when there is enough screen space to fit all the words without truncation. At the local level, the task is reading a single definition graph, so the box space is more equally divided between words. Although mouse drags offer direct fine control over panning and zooming, a mouse click inside any box triggers an animated transition to frame it in the window. There are several kinds of visual queries in the Constellation system. Hovering over a word is a lightweight query that enlarges it to the maximum possible size and marks all instances of it. Hovering over a link marks it and displays detailed information about both endpoints in the upper status bar. Our main visual query mechanism is the selective highlighting of constellations of boxes and links. Our new PyFlipper interaction technique is a translucent pop-up visual interface that exploits the scrolling mouse wheel. Holding a mouse button down and dragging the cursor into a slice picks a category type, and then scrolling the wheel with the button still held down selects instances in that category. Paths are only one kind of constellation. Definition graphs are another category. A third orthogonal way to slice through the data is by word. All instances of a shared word are emphasized, as are the long-distance links between the black master version of the word and its gray proxies. Finally, the relations between words have specific types, like is a, part of, and modifier. If the initial mouse click is over a word instead of the background, then the word and definition constellation slices act as toggles for that word instead of flipping through all possibilities. Constellations are emphasized by increased saturation, brightness, and line width. This synergistic redundant visual coding is very effective at directing the user's attention. Hue is used for nominal distinctions between box types and relation types. This videotape does not fully reflect the user experience when sitting at a computer monitor, since the resolution is much lower and our carefully chosen color palette is distorted.
Most draft drawing systems try to avoid false attachments by spatial positioning to minimize edge crossings. In Constellation, we instead opt for the semantic use of space to communicate domain-specific information. Interaction by flipping through categories of highlighted constellations is an integral part of our visualization system, so that spatial positioning alone does not bear the entire perceptual burden. Our visual layering allows us to always display all the dataset information without overwhelming the user's perceptual system.